Hey guys, this is Kevin from ServerPro, and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to set up the Vote Reward plugin on your Minecraft Pocket Edition server, so that you can have voting on your server and allow people to be rewarded for voting for it. So, let's get straight into it. So, the first thing that you'll need to do is ensure that your server is running Pocket Mine. Then once it's running Pocket Mine, go to this page, there'll be a link to it in the description below, and then you'll need to check that it is compatible with your server. So to do this, just look for the supported API versions on this plugin page. So as you can see, the latest version of this plugin at this moment in time supports 3.0.0-alpha7 to 3.0.0-alpha9. So to check if our server is running on one of those versions, we need to go to the control panel, then go to the console, and you need to type version and then click enter. And then you should see a line pop up, and if you scroll along, you can see there that it says API version 3.0.0-alpha9. So for this current version of the plugin, you can have alpha 7, alpha 8, or alpha 9. So as our server is running it, we can go ahead with the installation. So once you've confirmed that your server is compatible with this plugin, click the direct download button and then download it to your downloads folder. Then once it's downloaded, go back to the control panel, go to the file manager, go to the plugins folder, click upload file, choose files and then choose the file that we just downloaded and click open and upload from computer. Then once it's uploaded, restart the server and give it a few moments to start up. So once you've given your server a few moments to start up, click the refresh button and you should see a folder called Vote Reward appear. So once you have this folder, that is great, that means the plugin has loaded. So now what you need to do is that you need to list your server on a Minecraft Pocket Edition server list. So I'm going to be using this one, minecraftpocket-servers.com. You can use any that have this download feature that I'll explain in a moment. And you may need to create an account to list a server. So go ahead and create an account if you haven't already. And then go to the Your Server tab. And then for this particular site, we need to add a Bedrock Minecraft Pocket Edition server here, which is the top one. So if you click that, and then if you type a name for it, so just give it a name. Again, this will be different if you use a different site or if this site is updated in the future. So you just go ahead and list the server and then come back to the tutorial once you've listed. Give it a quick description if you want to. And then you need to go back to the control panel, go to the My Server tab and then get the IP address. So select all of that, copy it, and then you need to paste it into this address bar here. And then you also need to do the same for the port. So if you just go here and grab that and then paste it there and then click tech, check the connection, and then once it says it's good, that's fantastic. So we can scroll down to the bottom and register it. Feel free to go through and add some more details though if you want to. So once you've listed it, on this particular site, each site might be different if they support it. However, on this particular site at the moment, you need to see this VRC file, and there's a little download button next to it. So click that, and it should download that file. Again, I can't confirm what this is like on every Minecraft Pocket Edition server site, However, you need to find a way to obtain the VRC file. Then once you've obtained that and got it on your computer, go back to the control panel, go to the file manager, then go to the plugins folder, and then go inside of the vote reward folder, and then go inside of lists, and then click upload file, choose files, and select the .vrc file we just downloaded, and click upload from computer. And then once you've uploaded that, click restart. Then once you've restarted the server, go back to the vote reward plugin. So if you go here and then open the config.yml file. So here is where we're able to change what happens when a player votes. So by default, it sends this message in the chat and then it will also give them these items and this amount of items here and it will play a particle effect through the commands. So you can edit this at your own will, however we'll go through it quickly. So for the message section you can change the message that I displayed here or you can just remove it completely. So if you wanted to remove it you would just delete everything inside the quotes and leave it like that and it would no longer display message. However I want it to display message as I think that's a great feature. So I'm going to change it a little bit so I'm going to put, I'm going to remove the player so now it's just going to say this person voted with slash vote and got cool rewards. So I'm going to change it a bit different at the end I'm going to put and got some awesome presents so now we can have that instead and feel free to adjust it at your own will you don't have to do what I'm doing you can use your own color code you can change it a little bit if you want to I'm going to change the presence word to be in the color red as well just to show that it can use some different color codes if you wanted to so now that we've edited the message let's change some of the items so to 
So to change the items, you'll need to know the ID for the items that you want to list. So I've included a link to this page in the description below, and here you're able to find the IDs for every item in Minecraft Pocket Edition. So if we wanted to give someone a diamond sword, search for diamond sword, and it comes up with the ID here. So here it says it's 276. So if we go back to this file, and let's delete all the current ones, and just leave the top one. So if we change 267 to 276, which is a diamond sword, as we remember here, and then here you've got the damage, I would just leave that. And then five is the amount. So you only want to give them one diamond sword, so put one there. And again, you can go ahead and list as many items as you want. So you just follow the same format. So let's say we wanted to give them some bread as well. So if we search bread, that's 297. So we put 297 colon zero, and then the amount that we want to give them. So let's also give them one bread. And then let's just give them a third item. So if we just create a new line, and then put two new colons again. If we go back to the ID list, let's give them some steak. So steak is 364. So if we input 364 here, zero, and then again, let's give them one steak. And feel free to list more items if you want to, or use different items, it's completely up to you. So the next section is the commands that are executed when a player votes. So by default, it does a cool particle effect around the player, which I like, so I'm going to leave it like that. But if you had any custom plugins or anything like that, where you wanted to use their own commands, you could just go ahead and add your own there as well. So now that you've set up this file and configured it to your liking, click save and then restart your server. And then once your server has finished restarting up, go ahead and join it. So as you can see, I've just joined my Minecraft server. And if I run the command slash vote, you can see that it says you haven't voted on any server lists. So if I just go quickly to my server and I vote on it. So if I just vote quickly here, type in your username and then click the I am not robot and vote. So then once I've voted, if I go back in game and I type slash vote, that should register all the votes I've done. So it should run all the commands. So there you go. You can see it says Racer K12 voted with slash vote and got some awesome presents. So that's fantastic. So that's how you set up voting on your Minecraft Pocket Edition server so that players can be rewarded for voting for your server on Minecraft server lists. So if you run into any problems during this tutorial, feel free to contact our support. You can contact them on our website on the support tab and then click message us and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Feel free to comment down below with any new tutorials you'd like to see in the future. And other than that, I hope that you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.